Hello there and welcome back to Milk It Reviews. Now what we've got here is the Dustin Elliman Range Qualifier Case. Now for any of you that are watching this that shoots, I'm sure there's a, an awful lot of you, you will realise just how much kit you need to cart backwards and forwards to the shooting range. And it can be quite substantial, and at the end of the day, it can land up weighing quite a lot. So, first of all, whatever bag you select has got to be robust. And this, most certainly, is just that. I've had this now for a couple of three months. Used it a lot. Right, um, I shoot pretty much once a week, right at the range, and this has proved to be worth its weight in gold. Prior to this I just used to use a backpack, right? Um, then you start realising a bit more organisation will be worth its weight in gold and then away you go. But let's just have a quick overview of the outside of this and then we'll get inside it and see exactly what you're getting here. I mean, In addition to this being a range bag, if you wanted a bag with exceptional organisation ability, this is also something that's really worth looking at. It's made out of a 600 denier high strength polyester fabric which if you're used to your 511 packs you will know as well as I do they don't use inferior materials in their manufacture of any of their bags so you can buy if you've got 511 bags already and you you know you're used to the quality right you can buy this with confidence right because you know at the end of the day you're just getting an extension of the quality in a different bag the material itself right is a water resistant but it has a water resistant back coat into it so you know what you've got in here is not going to get ringing wet the zippers as you find with everything uh, 511 they're all self healing YKK zippers and the plastic hardware is all Duraflex again when you take a look at Duraflex and YKK in their own fields they're probably the best in the world that you're going to get so you know straight away you're, you're, you're investing your money in something that's going to last You've got two large pockets either end. Okay, we'll go inside those in a minute. You've got a drop down flap at the front here, right? Plus you've got molly webbing on the, the, the front edges so you could put additional magazine pouch on there if you like. Right, we've got um, roughly a 75 millimeter square loop Velcro filled there so you can put your patches on there. Um, on the back, we have, let's move these straps out of the way. We have a zip up pocket there, which is handy for any documentation that you may have, um, or any of those really bad targets you want to fold up and hide out of the way of other people at the range. You've got these really handy adjustable loops. Now, I like these. My son really does collect targets, old ones, right? And some of the bigger ones can get a bit robust, you know, get, get a bit sort of big to cart around. You can roll them up. And tuck them in there. The other thing you can carry here if you need it is a tripod, right? If you're using a spotting scope, right, that keeps that nicely tucked out of the way. Let's move back around to this side. You've got a very adjustable shoulder strap, right, which is removable. It's got this lovely sticky rubberized anti slip fabric on the inside. I love this stuff, right, <laughs> because it works so well. I hear you wondering why do you love it, right? Um, like I said already, right, Duraflex hardware. I'll just unclip this, right, just so that we can just move it out of the way so it's not obstructing your view. Right, the bag itself is very well balanced, right? Um, obviously, bearing in mind how you load it, right? Um, <coughs> it, it is very, very well balanced, right? When that straps support you from here. You've got your normal grab handles on the top here with a Velcro closure. Again, this just makes one unit, right? Makes it nice and comfortable for you. Right, we'll open the top flap up, already undone the zip, you've got double ended, you've got double zips here and they are a locking zip as well, so whatever you've got inside there, pop a little padlock through it, it just keeps little fingers out. Inside the lid we've got mesh organisation pockets, love this idea, straight away without having to dig around you can see what's in there, right again YKK zippers, go down there, right thank you. 
Right, inside here you've got this really handy pull-out bag. Now this I love. <coughs> um, all your little bits and pieces, I mean you, you could keep boxes of bullets in here, magazines, right, you've got a nice pocket there you could just slip your handgun into. Right, on the end here we've got various pockets, pens, flashlights, so forth. And on the side here, elasticated loops that will quite comfortably take five handgun magazines. But right, on this end you've got some uh, molly webbing, right, um, which again offers you great organisation just in this nice little pull-out bag. I really like that idea. You've got a movable Velcro retained spacing panel in there. You can take it right out if you need to, depends what you're really going to carry in there. Right, but when that is inside the bag, you still have additional storage space down here. Right, obviously the other way if you move it around a bit. Let's move that to one side. You've got more storage pockets inside there and the same on the back here. What I, I'm going to move on to the end. I'm going to save the best bit for last because there's a, a nice little touch to this bag which I must admit I really love. The end po uh, pockets on here, they are huge. Easily get ear defenders in there if you want. Um, I'll be frank with you, I tend to collect up all the old bullet cases for reloading. I throw them straight into one of the end pockets, right, and it's just easy to bring them home. You've got loads of space in there. Um, again, adjustable Velcro retained dividers in there. Okay, you've got two in that end. Right, and you've got a single divider in there, but it's the same size pocket again, and you can remove this um, divider if you so wish. Right, now those end pockets are not locking, okay? Let's drop this end down because what they've gone and done in here, I love this bit. <coughs> On the back face here, again, we've got three low, three lows, rows even. One, two, three of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight full hook and loop, uh, sorry, hook and loop, Molly attachment panels there. This is the bit that I really love about this. Now it does actually clip in on this strap in here, but I've unclipped it just so it's nice and easy. This is a strip down pad, and if you look carefully, there's a picture of a magnet just below that little rectangle. That's a magnet in there. And if you think about it, the amount of times that you might have stripped your weapon at a range because of whatever reason, and you've got all those tiny little pins and springs and so forth, and you've got all those people milling around you, right, and things are getting knocked, there's all those loud bangs making you jump, that magnet is worth its weight in gold. Straight away, right, you can just put those little bits and pieces on that magnetic panel and they do stay put. The whole surface is all resistant which is great. If you look at the way it's constructed it actually has a bit of, I normally call it sort of piping around the sides, perhaps that is the correct name, but it creates a little lip all the way around the edge there so any spills, any little bits that might fall out of your gun are not just going to roll off. That I love, right? It's it's such a, a, a simple but brilliant idea. Whoever thought of that, right? 10 out of 10 from me. And I say that will attach in on here just so it stays put. Right, I'll just move that to one side. You've got a, a removable see through uh, wallet there for maybe your, your gun license or what have you. You may have to carry with you. And again, we have another um, pocket here which is padded. Right, the, the padding inside is hypoallergenic, it's a closed cell um, padding throughout, so no problems from that angle. Let me just pop that back in there. Right, but this bag, I, I had to empty this, right, so I could film it. And I've got to say, I was absolutely astonished as to just how much kit I was carrying in this bag, right. Um, Really, really quite astonished, right? Um, you don't realise how much you carry with you when you go to the range for the day. And straight away it was, yeah, I know my wife was moaning at me because I was emptying it out on the dining room table and 
I got the uh, do you really need all of that? Well, the fact is, yes, you do. Right, um, if you've got any questions, right, um, in relation to this, please feel free to ask because I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of questions flying around over this bag. It does everything it's supposed to do and it does it extremely well. If you're new to Milk It Reviews, please subscribe. Right, there's a lot of videos coming out in the future. Right, if you're a subscriber, then you'll get the updates in that notification panel down the left side of your screen on YouTube. Um, and you'll be you know, first in on being able to see the new reviews coming out. If there's anything, like I say, any questions you have, please drop me a line. As I've said before, if I don't know the answer, I'll find someone that does. Right, but the most important thing is you will get the correct answer that comes back to you. Thanks for watching Milk It Reviews. See you soon. Bye-bye.